All right, so uh, I figured this would be a fun fan fiction idea. Um, and as you can see, yeah, we're in for a good one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, <laughs> Loud House and Doctor Who. So Loud House and Doctor Who was kind of a fun idea I've had rattling around my brain. And I decided, you know what? It's high time I finally do this. Like, it's fi high time I finally just kind of throw this idea out there into the ether and kind of see what everyone thinks of it. <laughs> So, anyway, um, let's get started with the idea. Now, full disclosure, um, this is going to have only a X amount of doctors here, because when I thought of this idea, Capaldi was still, like, the doctor. Um, and it's not because I'm, uh, Jodie Whittaker, uh, Jod the 13th doctor, Jodie Whittaker's doctor, is not here, not because I don't like that character, it's just, um, <laughs> we only have an X amount of loud kids and an X amount of doctors, so kind of had to make a... Um, had to make a play call here. So anyway, so the story starts off with um, the Doctor more or less landing in Lo Royal Woods. Not because, not for any particular reason. It's just that um, he just needs to. Uh, he just had to. He just escaped from a um, renegade alien. He just escaped and just put it anywhere. Like he just planted it. He just planted the TARDIS and it just somewhere out of the time stream to just catch a breather like he just need like the doctor just needed a breather um it's about that time when uh lincoln is out you know playing in the back it, it, out in the wood out in out in the backyard and sees obviously a blue box and of course he calls the rest of, of his sisters he calls all of his sisters together and is like hey there's a blue box in our backyard we need to figure out where this came from. So they all pile in, and they're immediately taken aback by how expansive the TARDIS is. Like, it's just, what the hell? <laughs> the Doctor, of course, is deeper in the TARDIS, just kind of like, he just needs a break. Um, and then he comes out, he sees all of the, of the the all of these little humans in his, in his house, and he's just like, get out! Get, why did it, like... How did you even get in? The door was unlocked. Oh, I forgot to lock, unlock the door. Um, of course, uh, Lisa and the Loud family, at fur and the rest of the Loud family, uh, Lincoln, everyone thinks this is like a cool play thing, whereas Lisa's trying to figure out, like, because there's clear science to it that's beyond her understanding and she wants to know. So, of course, the Loud family finagling with the TARDIS controls caused something bad to happen. That being is that the TARDIS... Um, kind of like malfunctions and rockets them to different points in time so each loud sibling um gets pointed in different time uh, timelines inside the tardis so now they're with different doctors like they've time slided into a different era in the tardis lincoln ended up with um because this was capaldi's doctor he just went back to matt smith's doctor whereas um you had Luann, who runs into the fort, who with Tom Baker's doctor. Um, you have Luna with uh, Paul McGann's doctor. You have uh, Lynn with Sylvester McCoy's doctor. Um, Laurie is with Tennant. Uh, Lenny is with uh, Lenny is with Pertwee doctor. Uh, let's see who. Else? Oh yeah, Le <laughs> uh, Lucy is with. Uh, is with Colin Baker's doctor. You have, uh, oh, who was it? Um, Lola with, uh, oh, good lord. Lola with, uh, Eccleston's doctor. You had, so, more or less different doc, although the one I really enjoyed was having, um, <laughs> I think the one, like, one doctor I had with, with one loud family was basically, um, what was it? Oh yeah, Hartnell with Lily. Like, the young, technically the youngest doctor with the youngest loud. <laughs> um, uh, so... Uh, the heart, so the reason why the the Louds and the Doctors are all meeting one another is because what the Loud family did to the TARDIS controls was basically kind of caused like an influx, like more or less they call it the TARDIS controls and the time energy it's containing to 
um, to malfunction and cause like an a inverse explosion, more or less. Not so much like an explosion, but more like it just blasted the the. It split the timelines within the TARDIS to different points in time. So the Louds are now like scattered among the various timelines of the um, of the Doctor's history, and a lot of them are in the middle of shit. <laughs> like, so it's more or less like a bunch of Doctor Who stories and featuring a Loud family, and they're all caught in the wibbly wobbly timey wimey adventures of each doctor um so that was kind of the idea but there is kind of an art overarching story because that blast ca caught the attention of someone very dangerous the um the in this bla this time blast as it was caught the attention of someone very dangerous who is kind of overseeing all like they're basically like manipulating event events throughout all of the his all of history of the doctor and it's not who you think it is i'm not i'm gonna say right now it's not the master but it is a classic doctor who villain um and this person um this this being uh more or less manipulates different events like having hartnell's doctor encounter the jadoon uh, you have Troughton and uh, Troughton and his group meet uh, uh, the mo the modern Cybermen, not the classic ones from Tomb of the Cybermen, but like modern era, like Tenet era, like Russell T Davies era um, uh, Cybermen. Then you have uh, like just a bunch of crazy stuff, like just like different villains in different eras all encountering one another. And I thought it'd just be a lot of fun of having the Doctors and the Loud family just kind of play off of each other in this giant event, like, time-traveling event where they're all trying to meet. Because basically, it, it, like, they, like the Doctor explains to Lee, uh, Lincoln, like, uh, Matt Smith's Doctor explains to Lincoln, oh, this is an easy fix. We can just all just meet up at the same point and dump you off. Like, we, that's the thing. Like, you, this isn't a hard fix. It's just something is preventing us from doing that because... When we, when that blast went off, it kind of signaled something. We don't know what it is. Normally, we could just drop you off. Like we could just one at a time drop you off and be on our merry way. So, sadly, that's not the case. <laughs> so that's that's basically what happens. Um. Yeah. That's kind of what happens. Now, you're probably wondering, who's been sending all of these villains and monsters attacking the Doctors throughout time and space? Well, it's, like I said, not the Master, it's not the Rani, it's not the Valyard, it's the Mara. Remember the giant snake from uh, from Davison's era, from uh, Peter Davison's era? Yeah, the Mara is the one who caused all of this. The Mara basically, like, sensed this enter this influx and was like oh i'm gonna get on this and more or less spread fear and terror throughout the timeline of the doctor um while he's vulnerable and dealing with this situation so that was basically the idea is that because uh, yeah i wish we could bring back the mara and i was like hey i get uh, like in a story idea how about we use the mara although to be fair i was also thinking uh Sutek would be a good fit as well to this story <laughs> Um, so yeah, you so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of uh, this Doctor Who Loud House crossover? Do you guys like it, hate it? And what kind of adventures and monsters would you like to see each Doctor with each Loud encounter? Just comment below, let me know, and as always, if you haven't already, go check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. Um, join there, even um, if you hit the fourth tier, you can request videos for me to do here on YouTube. But other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.